So my husband and I debated a lot over the tile <laughs> and the color of the grout. Yeah. So unfortunately I lost that battle. All right, what about the tile? Did you agree on the tile? Yes, the tile was a no-brainer. <laughs> and this is what it used to look like. Uh -huh. and this is what it looks like now. Okay, well I understand why he wanted to use the light grout because it really blends in with the floor. If you used a dark grout, it would have celebrated all the squares and the floor could look very busy. Mm -hmm. Now have you tried cleaning it? Yes, many times down on my hands and knees with a toothbrush. Okay, well uh, the light grout will stain. Uh, did you seal it? Uh, four years ago. Oh, so you've only sealed it once? The one time. All right, so that should be at least once a year I would think. All right. All right, so, um, you know, we can try maybe something in your pantry and see if we can get this to clean. Pantry, all right. All right, let's take a look. All right, I think I found everything we need. I found some dish detergent, some baking soda, and some white vinegar, and a plastic cup. Okay. All right, so I'm going to mix these together with some water. Why don't you pour the white vinegar on the grout line and let that soak in for sure. a little bit. Baking soda will add some grit to the whole thing, help scrub it clean. Now I want to add a little bit of the dish detergent. We don't need a lot of it in there. All right, that's good. Don't do too much because we're going to be walking on a wet floor here. Okay. So I've got this mixed up. I want you to take this and just pour it right where on top of all the vinegar that you've okay. laid down. All right, so I'm going to give you this stiff brush that I got at the home center. It's bigger and stiffer than a toothbrush. Great. And we're going to just scrub those joints. Oh, wow. The grit's coming right out of there. Oh, it already looks so much better. Yeah. Coming out. All right, that looks pretty good. It's been sitting for about five minutes. Why don't you hit it one more time with the brush. Okay. And I'll just come behind you after you get it scrubbed and wipe it up with the sponge. Look at that, it's getting all that grime and dirt right out of there. Awesome. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. The floor is dry. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? It looks great. All right, so that came off pretty easy. But if you had an area that was stained and really hard to get up, you actually can get a knife like this at the home center. It actually has a carbide tips on the knife. And this is actually a knife that is used to remove the grout when you want to replace it. Okay. But if you have an area that's stained, like I said, that's bad and you couldn't get clean it the way we did, mm -hmm. you take this and lightly go across the top of the grout for mm -hmm. those hard to get places. You should be able to wipe off the residue and with luck, you'd have that stain gone. All right. All right, so now that the floor is dry, I've got some sealer at the home center. It's got a little applicator in it. Okay. You're gonna tip the bottle upside down and just drag it right across the joints and that should let it seal. All right, that looks pretty good and that was pretty easy, right? It was. Okay, so now we wanna wait about three or four hours for this to dry. Mm -hmm. And you can do it today or tomorrow, but a second coat but okay. make sure you do it at least once a year. All right, thank you very much. My pleasure, enjoy your house. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.